Hi guys, what's up? It's Rin back with another video. Today is a highly requested video and something I recorded actually a long time ago but I never uploaded. So I'm re-recording it um, with the plan of making a, another mini K-pop binder. This is what it looks like. It's just a four pocket sleeve binder to fit just small photo cards. This binder is getting so fat that I can barely like open it if I were to want to put in a new sleeve. Like it's impossible. Like I can show you right now. And then all of the pages fall out because it's too fat. While we're here, we're gonna go ahead and take out Miss Blackpink because what we're doing today is giving Blackpink a new binder or should i give ats their own binder because ats has a lot of stuff and put all like the miscellaneous groups maybe i'll do that because yeah we're gonna be making fillers for the upcoming comebacks of um, blackpink ats and bts what i usually get is i got this from amazon but initially i found it on aliexpress which is it's four dollars or something like that on aliexpress uh, you'll find it either on aliexpress or amazon and this one i got a clear version instead of my hollow version just so i can differentiate the two one question i get asked a lot is how many photo cards does this small binder fit um and it fits quite a bit okay, so miss back pink is having well it just had their comeback how you like that the queens popped off actually my nails are inspired by miss lala lisa's comeback teaser photo um i'm not sure which version it was but one of them had this nail set in it and i posted a post on my instagram asking what nails i should do and some people suggested this and also i really liked it the vibe and i love lisa so i was like yes like i love nail unicella uh, i follow her on instagram she is blackpink's nail artist and she does all their art for she does all their nail art for their photo shoots like with, for their solos for their group comebacks she does all of it so i i like her nail art a lot um uh, yeah, I can tell that she makes, like, press-ons for Blackpink, so they never actually, like, put on actual, like, these acrylic long-ass nails. Um, but she makes, like, press-ons, temporary nails for them to wear. So this is what the binder looks like popping off, yes. While we're here, we're gonna go ahead and add... I can't leave Jungkook out of any situation, so I recently hauled this keychain from the Love Yourself Tour, and we're gonna add her the bottom here so she can dress up this binder pop off it looks super cute i like to add it on the bottom so it doesn't scratch the photo cards so this is the list for a blackpink's comeback um photo cards and um pools that will be coming in the how you like that single album 16 photo cards and eight polaroids so it's probably something like this and i only collect lisa so i'm gonna just make fillers for her so i'm gonna take out some four pocket sleeves i already have this one made but i'll show you guys how i do it from scratch so you just take a nine pocket sleeve and yes we're going to be cutting it And you want to make sure you're cutting below the perforation. Don't actually cut the perforation or it won't be a pocket sleeve. Same here. You want to, because this is between two sleeves, you want to make sure you're cutting between the perforation very carefully so that you still have pocket pages on both ends. And to assume the Polaroids are larger, I need to remake one of them these i take one of these cut her in half well, then what we're gonna do is cut off the excess okay so we want to make sure it's in the center of the binder so we open her up and how i did it the first time i align her and center her 
in between the middle of the binder. So make sure she's in the middle from here to here. And we're going to push it into the sleeve. So if you notice, I punched or poked a little spot so that I can punch holes. And then we just align the hole puncher along the marked areas. When you have little extra remnants of the hole punch, you can just cut it off. And we're gonna put her here. And she fits in perfectly. So just like that. So you have your two pocket sleeve with the whole old previous whole bunch is cut off and we're gonna line it up with your binder. So we have our little indication marks for where we want a whole bunch. Sometimes when you've already made sleeves, instead of creating starting new from scratch, you can align it up with an old sleeve like this one and hold it where it's lined up. Perfectly. So let's make some fillers really quickly. I need to put these in. Let's make two more. Two more sleeves real quick. If you have sleeves laid, sometimes you make mistakes and it's okay. So don't worry if you fuck up, because I fucked up too. So I usually put black pink in bias line. Personal bias line. Bias line isn't a real way to organize things. <laughs> I do have pre-made one pocket sleeve. Yay! So I don't have to make these. We're gonna put season's greeting stuff here. Or welcoming collection stuff here. I used to have a fear of the photo card sliding back and hitting the hole punch since there is no separation, but they never do. Look at all these whole bunches. <laughs> Don't do what I do. Okay, okay, so they are in their home. Looking so cute. So I bought this at Walmart, I believe. Um, you could probably get it on Amazon as well. I got a pretty large size, but you can get these anywhere. But for the longest time for my fillers, I was just using scissors. Usually, what I use are little index cards. I'm just going to do how my mind figures this out. Is I'm going to fold it in half. And then I can see. Ooh, look at me. Using a cutter.
Okay, I think that is enough. So let's go ahead and write what we want. Color I choose is usually in association with the color of the album artwork. And I'm making fillers for BTS's Stay Gold Japanese album release because I'm collecting everything. So I made all the fillers for all the upcoming BTS, Japanese pre-order benefits, photo cards, and postcards for Stay Gold and all the how you like that Polaroids that I'm assuming I need to. There might be like mini posters and stuff, but I'm not going to make fillers for those and we'll put those in. So yes. Right, usually I like to specify like which version they are. I guess I could have did some black and some pink, but it's fine. So this little Lisa is gonna go here. Actually, we should put this behind all the rest of Lisa. And I would have made 80s comeback um, fillers, but I just don't know when they're gonna come back just yet. that I pulled out of the Kill This Love album. Do I want to put them back in? These were in my old binder, but I eventually took them out because they were taking a lot of room. Um, obviously, you saw the conditions of that old binder, but now this binder has so much room. It's already getting kind of full, but yay! So she's ready for the comeback. Yes. And we can close her up. You know what? While we're here, I know this video is so long already. There are some ATs spots that I haven't made fillers for. So let's do that. I don't think I'll ever get these on MMT PCs, but let's just make these fillers anyway. I see these Son photo cards go on Bai for like insane amounts like a hundred plus dollars it's kind of crazy ATs is so expensive yes okay so I actually had this map uh sh map to map to answer um yo song on the way and then I threw it away yeah long story short I had all my photo cards in a pile and my dumb self threw it away because I didn't I thought I opened it already but I didn't 
So, there we go. So, yeah. My bad luck. I have to buy that Yo song again. I'm so dumb. So, I have this, you know. He's available for trade. If you have a son or your song, hit me up. Okay. And those are all the fillers I need until they actually come back. So I've been contemplating. I think I need to get another BTS binder. Yeah, because right now this is like Jungkook and BTS, and quite frankly, I need to get a new binder. Yeah, quite frankly, she getting thick, real thick. Okay, so where do I want to put Japanese? Because it's technically an album. I know most people separate Japanese and album releases but i'm probably gonna stick it right after <laughs> i still need to get the lights and fake love and blood sweat and tears all those albums okay so with the stay gold comeback there are pre-order benefits from weaver's Weavers, Japan Fan Club, and Universal Music Group, and 7Net. So, we're just gonna organize these in whichever way I feel like it, in fan chant order. Personally, for me, I like adding fillers, even though I don't have the photo cards, but if I know I want to collect it, I just like to fill my photo binder. Oh my god, I tore this page. Again! <laughs> this page always tears. I hate it so much. Um, I like to fill my binder with the fillers, just so it's more set, like gratifying to me as I take out fillers and put in the actual photo cards it's more it also helps me keep track a little bit better of what my goals are for my collection and what i want even if it does like fill my binder and make my binder thicker than it actually is or like how big my collection actually is like it makes it seem like it's larger because <laughs> i would probably say my binders more fillers than actual photo cards but it just is a very satisfying way for me to narrow down my collection to what I want it to be. Okay, and for the Universal Music Group and 7Net, 7Net are going to be um, changing um, album covers and Universal Music Group are the postcard sets. So, yeah. I think the four pocket sleeves will be big enough to fit them. But I am collecting OT7 for this. Because your girl is crazy. And I want, I love going broke. It's like my favorite thing to do. Let's not say that. It's a joke. It's a joke. I think this is everything for the comeback that I need. I think I got everything correct. Yeah, Universal Music Group. Okay, yep, that is it. I'll probably include some fillers here. Hi, I actually decided I'm also gonna do fillers for the Bang Bang Come Alive and the Map of the Soul tour for Junka.
that's too much. It's too much to write. I'm not gonna write that. You know what I am gonna write? I'm gonna write the BBC. You know the BBC? You know? The British Broadcast <laughs> Channel? Is that what it stands for? Alright, so these will go after the fifth mustard. Yes, in the bag. I like to do everything chronologically from first to last. Alright, so what we got the BBC. I also like to organize it like this. So when I turn it, I can read it like a book. Map of the Soul Tour doesn't have a photo set, does it? No, but the BBC does. So the BBC, I'm assuming, will have four. And the BBC also has the invitation card, which I'm gonna assume are this size. So we're gonna put the BBC things here, just so I know that that's where they're gonna go. And yeah, I'll leave links for everything that I have um, to make my binders down below. So make sure you check that out if you want to. Thanks so much for watching and joining me on my DIY how to make your own mini 8 5 binder. I hope this helped you guys a lot and I can't wait to, um, I can't wait for the comebacks. The full Blackpink comeback. Make sure you're streaming Stay Gold and how you like that. We are army blinks in this household. No fandom wars. Um, I love you guys so much for supporting my channel and always getting excited whenever I release something new because that makes me more motivated and happy and excited to make more videos and share my collection with you guys. So I appreciate each and every one of you and all the friends I've made in this process of collecting has been such a journey this is a weird emotional way to end this video but i just wanted to say that i don't know okay so thanks so much for watching guys bye